Hi, it's Carol the Crafty Whippet, and welcome back to my floss tube. I hope that you have had a great week. I have had a fantastic week. I won't even say that things have like massively changed. I'm still stuck at home. My kids are still squabbling about school, and I don't know if it's the sunshine or the fact that today it is a glorious 82 degrees outside, and I am just feeling great about life. It is the best. Okay, it does help. I don't normally film on Wednesdays, but this is one of the days that I go riding, and I had a fantastic riding lesson. I am a nervous Nelly. Like, straight up, I'm scared of everything. So, for me, I'm finally cantering courses again for the first time in years. It's awesome. Also, probably all that vitamin D because I'm out in a ring and getting the sun beat down on me because my lesson's at noon. Eh, I need to find my sunscreen, but beyond that, it's... I'm just having a great life right now, and I hope that everyone else is too. Um, as far as stitching goes, I honestly didn't get as much done this week as I wanted to. I had mentioned last week that my kids are not great at letting me stitch during their school time. It's only getting worse this week. We're... I think this is week seven of them not being at school, and they're doing a lot of the online learning, and they're just frustrated with it, which I, you know what? I hate Zoom. I feel like the world's worst person to say this, but I have used it for a number of things now. I don't like it. Google Meet's not any better, by the way. So it's, I think it's more, I just don't like video conferencing. And my kids struggle with it. Like, it's not a good learning environment for them. I think that's really what I'm kind of going with. So for them, they're really not enjoying the schoolwork that we're doing. Um... I do have some actual like textbooks and homeschool type curriculum. I mean, I don't homeschool my kids, but I have homeschool stuff around. So we've been working on that. They do honestly a little better with that, but it requires a lot of management. So I stepped out of the room today to do some laundry and I was maybe three steps out of the space because they're all working together. Ironically, that works best, but I step out of the space and all the chatter comes up like non-stop until I walk back in I'm like are you guys done I was gone for maybe five minutes the time it took me to bring down a load of laundry switch everything over to the dryer get the washer loaded get it started walk back in the room it's up and back by a solid 10 10 minutes it was awful I don't know how teachers do this I really don't but Anyway, I'm like, well, that's why I'm not getting any stitching done is because when they're done for the day, we're honestly been trying to get some household projects done. So my stitching time is now down to like an hour at night and hey, I'm getting some done, just not all of it. So anyway, what I did manage to get done this week, I'm going to share with you now. Um, first up is going to be Pansies by Donna Dewberry. And this is where it was last time. And here we are today. It's getting close to a finish, thankfully, because I am over this project, honestly. Um, it's, I mean, it's nice. I did end up having to, I can't see it. This green is the DMC replacement, so it doesn't quite match the green up here. Whatever, it'll be fine. I just, it's... I'm ready to be done. I'm ready to move on. That's fine. It's it's that kind of project. I honestly hope to have it done this week, so fingers crossed. My stay-at-home stitching project that I started from Heartstring Samplery, Coffee Quaker, here, I have not gotten as far as I wanted to. Um, here it was last time. Here it is today. That's so far. I've basically done one entire motif here, and this poor thing, so I started here in the center. This has been stitched twice now. I got almost all the way done and realized I was one row too low. So if I didn't move it, I was going to run into trouble with my, because at first I was like, okay, I'm just going to ignore it. It's one row off. How big of a deal can it be? The letter I is right beneath it as seen here. 
So, if I didn't move it, I was going to have trouble with my motto, the whole reason that I'm stitching this. So, <sighs> frustrating. That's super frustrating. Like, I wish I could say that this, um, I will, actually, real fast, though. So, this is on 40 count. I thought the 40 count was going to be problematic for me with my eyes. It's not, uh, surprisingly. It is, by the way, the best feeling linen that I have ever stitched on. I don't know if it's just that the, because it's on a 40 count Edinburgh linen base. It's R&R Reproductions, um, Colorway is Beach Brew, but it's for a linen, very opaque. You can't even tell that. My lighting's not fantastic in here. Every time I lift this arm, I lose the you know, having no light. But um, it's a heavier weight linen, so if I were in a fabric store, this is something that I would grab for like almost pants weight. It's not, it's heavier than blouse weight. But it is literally the, like, the best, like, I would, I would sew garments with this. This is how nice this fabric feels in my hand. So that has been amazing. Um, I am having to, I found the 28 count needle was about the best size. I started with a 26, didn't love it. It felt like it was too big. So these holes are hard to find, particularly uh, the contacts I have in today would not work with it, but it has been a nice learning experience. I am doing each X individually, which I don't normally like to do with fancy floss, but for, I'll pull it back up again. Um, for example, when you're near it, you can see the color change from here as you work up to the top. So doing it each X individually, I mean, you're already ha kind of having to do that the way that this diagonal line is set up. So I've just decided to keep doing it for the entire project. Uh, I do like the effect. Um, it is a little slower going than I was anticipating and I at least have decided what colors I'm going to be substituting the ones I didn't get, but I did place an order with everything cross-stitch. I haven't, they haven't told me if it's shipped yet, but that the two remaining uh, flosses that I need that I don't have, I ordered from them, so fingers crossed it gets here soon, because I would really, the big problem is right now I don't have the color to stitch the first I drink the coffee, which is the whole reason I'm doing this, like, the cool mo the geographic, or the geometric motifs, they're awesome. But I want the fun words first, so I think that's one of the, the one thing that's kind of slowing me down on this one. But it is good. So next we have Autumn Queen, and I figured I should actually have a pattern picture, so if you don't know what Autumn Queen looks like, this is what she's, when she's done. This is what she looked like last time. Here she is today. So I have finally have the right floss color. It was like the one I was missing to come over here and work on her big fuzzy furry cloak thing that she has going on. Um, I'm happy with what I'm seeing develop. Uh, normally, again, I would be going up to make that face happen, but I'm trying to stitch down and it's funny, I've always thought of this picture as having a lot of purple, but the reality is it's not as purple as I think it is. Like, this stretch is kind of almost it for the purples. Uh, a lot of it is the 3371, three, three, which is going to be all the shadows on that cloak, and it's huge. But it's so pretty. So, I am probably going to keep her in the rotation for this week, because I didn't get enough time like I wanted to. Um, yeah, actually... There's not really much of a rotation this week to argue because I am, I'm going to honestly keep working on Coffee Quaker. My whole goal is that I'm supposed to be self-inflicted this goal that I will have it done by the time everything goes back to normal. Well, depending on where you are in the country, some things look really normal for you right now and some things don't. But on the plus side, my daughter gets to get her braces on next week. So she's had an expander. We had set an appointment back at the beginning of March, because um, once the, they got the growth plate where they wanted it to, they needed the bone to fill in. So he made this, you know, just totally arbitrary date months ago. And I have spent, for the last 
six weeks wondering, hey, uh, are they going to be able to do this appointment? Are we going to have to totally reschedule when these braces are going in? We're on a kind of a time crunch. So I wanted to have it as soon as possible. Literally the first day they're open. She's there. She has her appointment. Get them done. Poor thing. I kind of feel for her. She's excited, but not excited. Like she wants her teeth fixed, but she's not looking forward to the actual orthodontic work. She didn't. The expander, she couldn't talk properly for like four days. So it'll, she finally sounds fine with it now, but I will be curious to see how she does once the rest of the metal goes in her mouth. That, that totally aside. Um, for next week, I'm probably going to stick with Autumn Queen just because I'm enjoying it. Coffee Quaker is mentioned. Um, Pansies, if I can get that push to finish it. If it looks like I just don't have the drive to do it, I'm probably not going to touch it at all. Um, what I do want to do is bring a Qua uh, Prairie Garden back out. Just because I have these five right here, so I want to go ahead and fill in that motif, like, just to balance it out. That'd be pretty nice. Um, the other thing I did, this was not really smart on me, but I mentioned I had a package coming from 123Stitch, and I have decided that, and it showed up, and it has many beautiful things in it. So, I finally have the... Whisper. This stuff is so weirdly fuzzy. I have never used it before. So this is what's needed for Autumn Queen. Obviously you don't do it right now because I don't need to crunch it with my hoop. But like it feels weird. Um, I don't know if I'm looking forward to it and if it's going to be worth it for this project. But I have it. Like that. It's actually kind of really weird feeling. I'm, I'm not a fan. Um, I do have the Petite Treasure Braid for... It's sparkly. Um, for lining her cloak, and this is exactly, it was almost like everything I was hoping for. I probably should have gotten a second, um, card, second card of this, but live and learn. Um, I really, really like this. Actually, I almost like it better than the Krynik I've used in the past, so we'll see how that goes. And then, well, I was busy buying things because that's what I do. And I went ahead and picked up Bros of Manor's Leeds House Sampler. Now, I didn't get anything for this. Like, I'm not kidding it up. I just, I saw it, I liked it, and I was very delighted to discover, let me open this up, that it uses for its floss sulky petites, one spool of each color, and it gives you the thread pack to buy. So I have obviously heard of the Sulky Petites. I've seen some beautiful work done with them. I've never used them myself. So I thought that this was really fun. Um, not gonna do it now, but I, I buy patterns because I buy all the beautiful things when I like them in hopes that by the time I get around to stitching them that I'll still like them. And honestly, every time I sit down and I go through my entire pattern collection, I haven't found ones that I'm like, man, why did I buy that? No, I love every single one of them, even if I they're not all getting stitched. It's really sad. But for May, I have never felt the drive to do Mania. I've known about it for a number of years now. Not my jam. But I did like the idea of starting one new project for the month. So, dreaming of tulips. Tulips are my favorite color favorite color. They're my favorite flower. And while it's too late in the year for tulips for here, they all came and went a month ago, I thought it was like the perfect springtime pattern. And I'm kind of in the mood to start all the things. Like, I can't even, I have picked up and put down about three different patterns that I want to start now that I already have kitted up. So this is restraint on my part. And I finally did something really smart. So this one is in Fancy Floss. It's, I think, predominantly Weeks Dye Works. All of it is Weeks Dye Works. And I have complained about the joy of spending tons and tons of money on variegated floss that I don't always appreciate. So I looked at this and said, you know, the variegated greens don't do anything for me. So I went ahead and figured it's Grasshopper and Bullfrog. 
So these DMC 730 and 732 are supposed to be roughly equivalent. I mean, whatever, they're green. Nobody looks at tulips for their greenery. So it's really just to kind of set up a background. So I'm doing the stuff I don't care about in the DMC. And then I did like the variegation in the actual tulips themselves because it kind of reminds me, particularly some of the really fancy tulips that have lots going on in their petals. So I went ahead and ordered all of the pinks and reds and this um, they're lovely by the way I mean check out that color I don't have them in order um, the color range is four different ones here so I have baked apple baked apple okay Indian summer red pear and Charlotte's pink so if I put these all in order from lightest to darkest, it should make more sense. Which I probably should have done it in the first place, but you know, that's what I get for not really thinking ahead. And aren't those just lovely? So I'm really excited about this one. I'm going to start it on Friday. It won't get a lot of love right away, but I just wanted to do the, a project with all these pretty pinks. And I'm excited. So I've had this one prod or the pattern for almost four years now. So it's time to finally make it do something beautiful. And that is my plan for this week. It's not, again, probably too ambitious, but all my stitching plans are too ambitious. Let's go ahead and be honest. Like my stitching plans really require me to be willing to sit down in a chair for five hours a day and really like stitch. And I don't do that. I'm very flaky. I will sit down to stitch and get distracted by literally everything. And what should be, you know, get a lot done. I get 30 stitches done here in like an hour. It's not very good. <laughs> oh well. That's how it goes. Anyway, oh, and I ordered more stuff. So next week, assuming that everything shows up in a timely fashion, which it should, it's going to be a haul video. My husband has no idea. <laughs> Oops. Anyway, I hope that everybody has a great week in stitching and a great week with everything else, and I will see you next time. Bye.